and uh, please call a regularly scheduled meeting of the Sunken Board of Selectmen to order at 7, I'm sorry, 6.35 via the application on the Zoom that keeps us all in uh, different spaces. Uh, tonight we're going to talk briefly about the Select Board budget presentation, approve a couple of sets of minutes. Uh, we have an emergency update, state of emergency update, to discuss our FY budget timetable. Uh, review draft annual town meeting warrants, but before that, a uh, discussion about the potential for postponing town meeting. So, uh, that said, I want to welcome everybody to the meeting and hopefully FCAT doing their magic is recording this uh, for the public. Uh, Jeff's going to act as air traffic control. There is a way to uh, weigh in and ask questions. Uh, you'll be put on hold or in a queue, and then from there, uh, you'll be able to ask questions of the meeting. So that said, uh, let's start with uh, some uh, select board updates. Tom or David, if you want to weigh in. Um, Scott, thank you uh, for the opportunity. Um, basically, I, I'm we're all we're the board of selectmen, select board um, are in the town office building. We're practicing. And we're here this at least the first time just to make sure that we're all that we can do this. This is our first time for us to, to do this. Um, so we're all in the town hall, but we are practicing social distancing. Um, Scott's out in the uh, hallway. Um, David's in the uh, selectman's office, select board's office, and I'm in the uh, seat of power, or other words known as the uh, town clerk's office. So, uh, um, so we're we're kind of, we're spread out. We got a minimum of our six foot distance. Um, I, I would like to, to to let people know that we are getting your emails and your concerns, um, and we hope we'll be addressing those as we move on. But uh, if you're out there, thank you for joining, and just to let you know, FCAT's working at uh, getting to be able to do this uh, live, um, so that everybody can participate as well. So thank you. Go ahead, Scotty. David, is there anything you'd like to add? You're muted, David. So we do have a few things still going on. David's on, on trying to mute himself. Dave, you're still muted. Jeff, would you check on David's mute status? Okay, that should be good hey, now. He's back. Hey, uh, we had a personnel committee meeting last week, so we are still continuing with our um, our salary recommendations and everything. We'll have that wrapped up, I believe, in our next meeting. So um, that's uh, that's all the regular updates I've got for today. Okay, uh, that that said, thanks, David. Uh, a couple of updates uh, that have come in since our last meeting. As of this afternoon, the library uh, no longer is doing its curbside business. That's important to bear in mind. The phone number is still there. You can call and maybe uh, the, the staff will allow for some more clarification. But that, that, uh, that program is coming to an end as of uh, today, according to the police chief. So. I don't want to quote that incorrectly. Our um, elementary school and Unit 38 still chugging along with uh, providing lunches for uh, people who need them and uh, breakfast as well as the program continues, and that's a good thing. And uh, lastly, uh, from our side, we are going to be uh, dealing uh, in the short term with um, the governor's announcement tomorrow about uh, an extended period of. Uh, basically uh, staying in place. Non-essential business is being uh, shut down until the 5th or the 7th, correct me, mass.gov. Um, and that information is fresh off the presses as well. So uh, that said, um, let's take a look at our minutes of uh, March 9 and March 16 and take those uh, as, as a, some business. March 9, we had, 
I'll make a motion on the ninth minutes. Second. Motion is made in the sec and seconded for the ninth. All those in favor? Aye. 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 And I see two pages of the ninth. So. Yes. There comes the 16th. Another pair of pages. Single coach. Motion on the 16th as well. Second. Uh, motion's made and seconded on the minutes of the 16th as well. So motion second on the 9th and the 16th. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Three to zero. So people who are watching and participating or may watch this in the future and wonder just what on God's green earth are we up to? We're trying to keep it as um, normal for your, your town government to keep functioning uh, as possible in these interesting times. And who knows, maybe this will be the new us forever. I'm not quite sure, but we'll, we're working on it. If it works out well and people like it, maybe that's what we'll do. Uh, Jeff, do you wanna have any town administrator updates? Oh, I think you're muted. Jeff, are you self-muting? Yeah. <laughs> Can you hear me now? There you go. Now we got you. All right. Um, I was just saying, uh, other than the COVID-19 updates that you went over briefly, and we'll talk about in more detail uh, coming up. Um, I did speak with uh, David Nixon, the town administrator in Hadley, and um, we talked a little bit about economic development and um, things that, that we can do to help out uh, businesses that are that were open, probably won't be tomorrow. Um, but also talking, they're trying to get together a regional um, list of public construction projects um, that might be able to move forward. I'm not quite sure how things have changed with the governor's new order uh, today, but um, that was uh, late last week. Um, also, some good news, because we can always use good news. Um, we just found out today, um, thanks to Cindy, that uh, Eversource is offering 100% coverage of uh, potential heat pump installation um, at the town office buildings, so that would be no cost to the town. Um, and then the only other thing I wanted to say is that, you know, staff um, throughout town is, is working really hard during this time and um, doing an amazing job of keeping government functioning. And I just wanted to, you know, give a, a shout out to all them for, for continuing to, to make things work um, however they can. And even though the buildings are closed, uh, they're still in there. They're still checking mail, checking email, answering phones. Um, doing everything they can to keep things as normal as possible during this time. And FCAT as well, by the way, I just, uh, they worked hard all day um, in order to get this streaming today. And so, um, you know, they, everybody's putting in a lot of time and, and dealing with things that we didn't expect to. So I just wanted to give a shout out there. Yeah. Very appreciated. So a couple of pieces under the current state of emergency, as you know, this is a piece of technology that you're experiencing. The reality is that uh, the governor's uh, declaration has allowed for uh, no in-person attendance and members of the public are permitted in, in meetings until the um, until this uh, declaration is lifted. So uh, pay attention to the recorded pieces and as this technology rolls out, uh, it'll be on scale that people can participate. If there are specific invitees on a subject, we will make it a point to have them available for everybody, and that's really, really important to bear in mind. Uh, one other thing we should probably consider while we're under a little hap dash this today, uh, one we should also consider is that uh, we are five weeks from town meeting, and the governor's declaration is allowing for um, a handful of tasks, a handful of tools that towns and municipalities can use, and one of them is the delay of town meeting. So I'd like to have that as a, a discussion point um, 
and not a decision point for tonight, but a beginning of a discussion point as we are five weeks out from this Friday. Any thoughts from the members of the board? I think we may have to, just given the time frame and everything that's going on and what, uh, what may happen. Because the, you know, we might go into, you know, more of a, a more severe lockdown or it may last longer than we think. So mm -hmm. it's definitely something we should at least talk about. Right. Tom, what do you think? I don't think, uh, Scott, you are right. I don't think we have to make a decision this evening. But knowing, knowing how um, that's an option for us, um, I, I would think that it's something that we, could, we, we should consider and we probably should do. And again, it's, it's about being able to get as many people to town meeting as possible. And we right. said over and over again, um, right now there's still some concerns um, with the budget in particular. Um, the schools are coming, you know, they're, they get up, they're working through their, their budgets. They get, I don't think, I don't think they've finally taken their final votes. Have they Scott on all their budgets yet? No, they have not. They, they haven't taken votes on their five, their final budgets yet. Um, and, and I think there's parts that we still need to discuss. I think we need to keep moving forward with our budget and our, the revenue side and the expenditure side. But to look at look at uh, maybe extending two or three weeks um, in a in a week or so, that may be a prudent prudent idea. I think we get you know our election is that first Saturday in May. Right now, um, I, I would think that I, I did talk to the town clerk today specifically about that, and there there hasn't been a lot of, of word out there on the street about what people are doing. So, and there, there are people that are coming up with elections in, in April. Right. So I, I think we have to look at what options are available to us on, in that, in that um, also, so. Good point. When I spoke with the superintendent last Thursday, Wednesday or Thursday, he asked about um, our uh, requirements for uh, their voted budget. You know, what is a, t what is a good timeline? And I let him know that you know, we, we're already several weeks behind our schedule and that if we begin the discussion about uh, postponing town meeting, then we would wanna make sure to go to town meeting with as good numbers as possible. So he was under, he, he, left, he left with the guidance that you know, a couple of weeks delay in their submission to us is not a deal breaker for us now. No, and, and Scott, uh, the one nice thing about having a meeting on just electronic format is the town, town clerk just uh, was able to let me know that Hadley has extended their election till May. So, so that yeah. that's already that's already occurring. Cool, very good. Thank so you. we'll have that, David. I'm sorry, not David. Uh, we'll have uh, as an agenda item, Jeff for the next two weeks uh, town meeting schedule. We'll just have that as a, as a placeholder on the actual uh, agenda. Okay. Uh, next up, you wanna talk uh, briefly about uh, the uh, Board of Selectmen's budget, Jeff? This is our expense budget. Yes. So, um, let's look, uh, as I think you mentioned last week very briefly, um, a lot of level funding uh, so far, um, a couple of the items that have increased, um, you got a new town administrator? Yeah, One. there's that. Um, <laughs> He might be a good negotiator. I don't know. Uh, let's see. We also um, are estimating that uh, we're, um, there's going to be a lawn mowing bid, and that might go up. Um, so requested a little bit more funds in that item. Um, let's see. There was uh, technology upgrades um, that were conducted last year, and so looking at the a uh, new service provider and licenses. Um, there was an increase in the technology budget. 
Jeff? Yes. Um, if I'm not mistaken, weren't we uh, expecting a uh, the highway super to uh, put a proposal together for what it would take for him to uh, provide mowing also? I believe that he is working on that, yes. Okay. So that, that is a potential um, uh, reduction there if that, if that comes through. Um, I think that there would be a capital cost associated with that, but. Right, absolutely. Um, so I think those those were the the items under the select board budget specifically. Do you um, want me to talk about the capital request as well? Uh, under the select board, that would be yes. fine. Yeah. Okay. Um, so there were um, several requests. Uh, one which I put in was for village center visioning. Um, and that, that was the village center committee, um, is looking to do a visioning for the entire 11647 intersection and surrounding areas. Um, as has been discussed at previous meetings, there isn't a lot of funds that are available for design and, and that type of stuff. Um, so I put in a request for $50,000, um, which was matching what, what, uh, was put in the budget last year for complete streets design work. Um, there is also a request um, for $9,000, uh, the doors to the town office building, to the elevator to the town office building don't have a button uh, for ADA accessibility. That was one of the things that was um, mentioned in the ADA self-evaluation. Uh, so there's a request to do that. Um, and then I, I'm not sure if this is the appropriate thing, but there was a request from a resident. Would that, would that be discussed now for capital? Sure. Okay. Um, for village center signage for $5,000, um, this would, the locations, and this would be something to be discussed with the village center committee and uh, what the designs actually look like, but something uh, indicating um, a little bit more prominently along North Main Street about location of the library, the boat launch, the fields, um, and how to navigate sort of school street and the amenities that are there. Okay. And those are on the category of the administration's capital requests. Yeah. Got it. Any thoughts, Tom or David, about the expense as it's laid out? I mean, again, we knew going out to hire that we were going to have to be competitive. We keep hearing that term in the municipal market. Uh, the, the, the salary that uh, Jeff and I negotiated has them starting at $87,000 going up over the next three years. And that puts us right in that, right in that spot of our, our neighboring communities. So that one looks like it jumps out. I see Jeff under line 10, 35, 35, and I'm wondering, is that a guidance from the personnel committee or is that, um, what is that? Um, yes, that is the, uh, that is what, uh, again, the personnel committee, as David mentioned, hasn't um, officially voted, but that was what was being discussed. Okay. Um, Good. Tom or David, or finance committee for that matter. <clears throat> yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine with um with that. Okay. So if you look at our total total, you get down to the bottom. It looks like the budget as it stands right now, and this is our first kind of big picture view. Looks like it stands at about a 4.9% increase over last year. And again, this is uh, the this is the first pass of us looking at the expenses in in the total picture. And uh, that is obviously a number that is our, our beginning point, and invariably uh, we'll make those adjustments accordingly. Also, it looks like based on our revenues uh, estimates from last year and using the formula, 80% of three-year averages. Uh, as of right now, it appears that we have 
uh, we're all more effectively balanced. So our, our projection right now is we're effectively balanced. I guess the only question then is like if we take a revenue hit going into the year from everything that's going on, right? Bingo. Yeah, that's the unknown at this point. Right, and we are waiting still for our, our certification from DOR. There was some question back and forth with mm -hmm. the accountant uh, over the last, well, I think it was like three weeks ago, wasn't it, Jeff? Uh, about the feedback from DOR to the accountant, those the, those exchanges happened a couple of weeks ago, anyway. Yes, uh, according to the accountant, they um, supplied DOR with uh, everything that they had asked for and are waiting to to get the official certification. Okay. Any other questions regarding uh, select board budget, either from board members or the finance committee? Well, on, on the on the, uh, on the select board, not so much, Scott. But I, I was wondering on the salaries. Are, 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 when are we going to discuss that? Because I, I do. Because I, I don't necessarily know if um, um, I, I don't know if the personnel committee has put together a uh, a recommendation yet. But you know, we had a lot of. Um, people that had come in to say that they were looking for for um, compensation at the high end of the scale. Right. And and maybe maybe we need to talk with the, the personnel committee ab about that specifically. I don't know if we if if we ever said that we were gonna look at paying the top end of the scale. Um, so that that'd be and and, and then again what happens when a person reaches the top end of the scale? Does the salary still continue to increase, or are they are they held at that top end of the scale? And what 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 happens if the uh, what in, what happens if the top end of the scale goes down? Good point. You know, so I and again, I I I just you know I I don't think that I mean most of the places that we negotiate or when we look at a contract. Most of the time, we don't come in at the top end of any scale right. um, I, in all of our negotiations. That I, is a good point. I, I don't think we, we've ever done that, have we? I mean, in any of the con contracts that we've negotiated. So, <clears throat> I, I, it'd be, and, but I understand that things change. You know, you you know, you don't want to you don't want to hold the people that've been here for a long time. You don't want to you don't want to take advantage of them, but. At, at the same time, sometimes it's hard to hire someone also, so. Hey, raise a good point. Could I ask that we, we get that um, survey, wage survey dusted off again so we can understand where, and maybe you can ask Jeff to take a look at that uh, as well as what the personnel committee's recommendations are going to be um, so that we have a, a multi-year plan. We're in the middle of a multi-year plan. We have gone to the last three town meetings with step changes in certain uh, jobs that are in town. And this right here looks like um, a handful of remaining are making a, a move across uh, that survey as well. So remember the survey content was geared toward finding a way to get our salary ranges toward our peer group uh, means. And that was important. We had many out. We had we had several outliers in that original survey that were that were glaring. They caught your attention, and we were we were under we were underpaying compared to our peers. That said, we also don't want to pivot and go you know forward too far. Yeah, the uh, the personnel committee is actually working on a proposal. And we've discussed it. You've kind of encapsulated all the things that we've discussed in our meetings. So. Um, so what I think what we want to try to do is, is at our next meeting have prepared the, like the formal recommendation. So, okay. Jeff, you want to weigh in on that at all or a person or the finance committee? I think, um, like David said, it, it look it's looking like a multi-year, uh, proposal specific to this year and then um, how to look at things going forward as well. Um. Okay, I appreciate that. 
All right. So uh, next up on oh, our I think, agenda. I think Elliot's oh, waving his hand oh, there. Oh, <laughs> He's got a question. Elliot, I think no, you're I, just, I agree that I think it's important that we, when we're coming into this, looking to, I think the projections say that, that revenues are probably going to be tanking uh, across the board. I mean, if you're following the whole the whole big picture. And so I think it's, it's very important to consider not overcompensating for the, the previous, the, our, our past undercompensation. It's important not to swing. I, I just agree that it's really important not to swing the other way right now. Thanks so much, Elliot. Appreciate that. Okay. Uh, draft annual town meeting warrant articles. Right, these are pretty standard stuff. Um, since we're talking about the potential for um, changing the date, I guess tonight my my uh, suggestion would be that we don't read them one by one, uh, but we understand them. in kind of their format. It looks like it's 30 total and the last 25 through our consent articles. So a budget item, move from free cash using the guidelines, capital stabilization using the guidelines. I'm at article six right now. Yep. Budget. I'm sorry, capital budget is Article 6. Article 7. Hey, Mr. Mr. Uh, Chair? Yes. Do we need to uh, vote to put these on the warrant yet or motion to include them? Do you want that? Do you want to start yeah, that I think, process? I think we should start that, that process tonight. <clears throat> you want to, yeah, do you want to start that process? Yep. So tonight, Article One is you know uh, hearing reports from boards and committees. Motion, second. Motion is made and seconded to include all those in favor. Aye. Aye. Article Two is salaries, so we'll pass over that. Yep. Article Three is budget. Pass over that. Article four is free cash to stabilization, so we get those oh, values. Mr. Chair, do you want to, you want to put number three on because we are going to have a budget. That's fair. We don't know. Yeah, in the motion, you're right. That details will be to in the motion. It That's we will have a budget. Yeah, move yeah. to include. Is there a motion? Motion. motion. Oops, okay. Second. Beach. All those in favor? <laughs> Aye. 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 Three to zero, please. Can't kick me under the can't kick me under the table on that, Dave. <laughs> uh, capital. Uh, Tom, along the same lines, Article 6 is a capital budget. Again, the, the numbers aren't there, but the met we, we have. Yeah, we should put it there, Scott. I agree. Is there a motion to include Article 6? Motion. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Three to zero, please. Um, Scott? Yep. Um, and this may be a question for Jeff. Aren't, aren't we supposed to roll call vote or, or should we say our name and vote? It, wasn't that some <clears throat> uh, something in the law that I read? Let's just see. Hmm. I think that. Um, or raise for, our at least, or raise our hands at least. My understanding was that if it was going to be only on phone calls, then we would do a roll call vote. Um, but since there's video, I don't think that we necessarily have to. Okay. Uh, Mr. Chair, could I recommend that we uh, raise our hands? Would that be okay? That sounds fine. Okay. Yeah. How's that, Jeff? Works for me. All right. Sorry, Scott. No trouble. So that was a move to include Article uh, 6, and there was a 3-0 vote. I'll just raise my hand again. Uh, Article 7, Jeff, could you brief me on, brief us on that? If this is, has to do with health insurance account for IRS employer shared responsibility payment. 
Yes. Um, my understanding was that um, last year uh, we had to make payments to the IR, unexpected payments to the IRS for the employer shared responsibility uh, payment. Um, and this is to reimburse um, the account that that was taken from. Okay. Uh, motion on that one. Second. The motion is made and seconded. All those in favor of Article 7, including Article 7? Aye. Aye. Three to zero, please. This virtual waving could be contagious. It's kind of fun. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, Article 8 is uh, CPA open space reserved to creation of a pollinator garden. This is brought forward by the CPA. Is there a move to include? Motion to include. Second. Motion's made and second to include. All those in favor of inclusion signify by high fiving virtually. Aye. Aye. We can't shake hands. Three to zero, please. Article nine is again by CPA, and this has to do with a parcel of land uh, that's uh, adjacent the Sunderland Drinking Water Protection Area, expanding that space. That's a, that's a very important thing. Uh, and that was a lot of work that went into that. I wanna thank both the CPA as well as the, the original landowner for working together to work this out. Uh, is there a motion to include? Motion to include. Second. Motion's made and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 I keep feeling like I'm just waving to Dave. And if we get these fast enough, we can go like that. <laughs> Again, uh, open space as a CPA submission, Article 10, uh, $76,000 for the construction of uh, kayak kiosk seating park storage facilities and funds to be expended under the direction of the Sunderland Library Director. Um, is there a motion to include? Uh, motion. Second. Motion's made and second and to include Article 10. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. I'm trying to figure out where my camera is on this thing. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Article 11, again, CPA uh, transfer for the next phase of Riverside Park design. Um, motion to include. Second. Motion's made to, and seconded to include Article 11. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Archaeological survey. Tom, do you remember this? We get didn't we get dinged on this for the first time around? Um, the first time around, Scott, they said we didn't have to have it. Right. Now they're saying That's that we need it. Okay. So, uh, Article Twelve is for Arc Survey at uh, Riverside Park. That. Sounds like we need to do. Although, and this is a CPA money as well as CPA uh, uh, CPC recommendation. Is there a motion to include? Motion. Second. Motion is made and seconded. All those in favor of inclusion? Aye. Aye. What's well, interesting. So this is a community preservation committee uh, submitted a submission again. And this is a uh, basically 6780 to design pedestrian and bicycle pathways uh, connecting town resources and national assets. Discussion. If if there's no discussion, is there a motion to include Article 13? Uh, motion. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Why are we why are we funding from CPA carrying costs? Wasn't this built into the this is Article 14? Wasn't this built into the original grant? Right? It's a debt. 
when the CPC uh, comes to talk to us, we can talk to them, Scotty. Okay, mm -hmm. so let's, uh, let's have a motion to include, and we can always yeah. pass it over. Yeah. We, well, we can always, we we'll always take it out. Correct. Yeah. Right. Yep. Yep. Okay, right, is there a motion? Motion. motion. Second. Okay, we have a motion and second to include Article 14. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Article 15 is the transfer reserves of the different percentages that are allowed uh, by the funds raised to the CPA funds. And again, that's by percentage. And that's been annual right now. And again, I want to thank uh, the CPA folks for keeping this all in check and making sure that the town meeting recognizes they are still the appropriate towards to this. So is there a move to a motion to include Article 15? Motion. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Three to zero, please. Article 16 is uh, acquisition. And Jeff, this is fronting the park money and then getting reimbursed through small communities and park grant? Correct, and if the town isn't successful in the park grant, then the monies wouldn't be funded. Got it. So, so this, is, this the is the, the, the town committing to the application that the park grant has, and if the park grant goes through, this isn't appropriated. Correct. Hey, okay. uh, hey, Mr. Chair. Yes. Hey, Jeff, um, next, our, our next Zoom meeting, could we get this, uh, could we get this, these are like when we're d discussing this, could we get this on screen also? Uh, the, the actual uh, language of the warrant? Yeah, or, or, or whatever, whatever documents. I, I've been working lately where, where we've been, I, I worked with uh, some engineering plans on Zoom today. So they were able to put those up. So we were able to uh, discuss them. And, and, and I'm just saying it would, give, it would give our home audience or people watching the meeting, um, they could actually read what we're reviewing as well. Yes, um, I can do that now if you'd like. Scott, what do you think? Sounds fine. Okay. That yeah, works for me. I do it all the time at work on WebEx, so. Do you? Right. Yep. Let me pull up the warrant. I don't know how it'll show up here, if it'll show up to all of us as another window, but we'll no, find I think, out. I, I, think it'll, I, I think what it'll do is just leave us over on the side, and it'll put the document on the full screen. I think. We'll, we'll find out. <laughs> or, or we could do the blue screen, too. That's right. <laughs> so while Jeff's working on that, do you have, is there a discussion? Oh. Well, I see a there we go. Wheel. Yep. So now we see Scott. Uh-oh. That's not a good thing. And the document. Hey, now. Okay. Thank you, Jeff. Oh. Looks good. You know Looks what it is? This was, yeah. Who's ever speaking, I think, is the featured panel usually. Yeah, no, 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 we're, and that's fine. I don't think we need to, we don't need to hog the computer screens. Good point. <laughs> no. Thank you. Jeff, it looks good. Thank you. You're welcome. So, that said, on the discussion about Article 16 for this uh, park grant uh, bit, it would be nice, Jeff, to have uh, folks who are driving this give us a sense as to what the grant's actually going to be for. Yep, absolutely. Okay, although, uh, excuse me, is there a motion to include Article 16? Motion. Second. We have a motion made and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Hands are all up. Three to zero, please. Article 17.
This is CPC and then it is to adjust percentage, right? Yes, one of our housekeeping bills. Yeah, and that makes sense. Okay, uh, discussion, if not, is there a motion to include? No, motion. Second. Motion is made and seconded to include Article 17. And again, changing the percentages or allocations in the CPC um, by 10%. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Three zero, please. Hands up. So next up, we're adjusting the spending in our revolving funds. Jeff, are these the only revolving funds that we have? That, I, am, I will check on that. Okay. Leave so. Fiscal year, right? So this is the list being presented, and these are the limits being presented. So even if they are, even if there are, this is what's happening on the wiring inspector, plumbing inspector, board of health element. I'm sorry, the Sunderland Public Library community room, fire inspector, and the highway shared equipment. And that would be the maximum expenditures of nine thousand, three thousand, sixteen thousand, five hundred. 5,000, uh, 7,000 for the fire and 23,000 for shared. Do, do we need to hold off if we're not sure of the amount? I'm wondering on this one. If no, it's I was stipulated. Sorry, the amounts, yeah, the amounts themselves are, are pretty straightforward. What goes into a revolving is, is what's maximum allowed to go out. So, so Scott, I, I, I think David has a point there. Um, because didn't, didn't we just, I, I thought the wiring inspector and the plumbing inspector, I thought they were, it was going to, the, the high end was going to be based on how much work, 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 how much work they were doing. That's a good point. And there was some yeah. fee change as well. So let's, let's check this yep. one off as homework and, and, and drill down on it. If, if you wouldn't mind, Jeff. Mm -hmm. So, so do you want, you want a motion to include 18 and then we can modify it as we go along? Yeah, I mean, if we're still going to go through, I mean, the funds themselves don't go away, neither do the tasks, but we, right. understand, we have to understand the values to make sure they're correct. Yeah, okay. Right. All right, so we have a motion? Motion. Mm -hmm. Second. We have a motion made and seconded. All those in favor of including 18? Aye. 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 I got my hand up. Sorry, it's been... We're going to include snow and ice deficits uh, spending for yeah. the fiscal year, so we might as well, we, we, we've raised it, so we might as well include it, and then we'll know what those values are. Of course, it's snowing as we speak, so there you have it. Is there a motion to include 19? Motion. Second. Motion is made and seconded. Again, the motion, I'm sorry, to include. All those in favor? No. Aye. Aye. Three to zero, please. So we'll have a list of bills. Remember a handful of years ago, we would have a special town meeting 6.30 before the regular town meeting. Uh, those rules have changed and they allow for paying of bills on the annual town meeting warrant in the current year. And I thank the administration for letting us do that now. It streamlines the process. Uh, that said, uh, we have here a placeholder for any bills that are in the current fiscal year to be paid at the annual town meeting. A motion to include. Motion. Second. Motion is made and seconded to include Article 20, <laughs> and again, that's paying bills in the prior year. All those in favor? Aye. Three to zero. So the next one is something that I've, I've actually worked on, uh, not necessarily the list itself, but uh, the capital planning group over at Frontier not only had a borrowing authorization, 
um, for a large capital project has been using some of their E and D money uh, to take care of major maintenance. And then the third uh, mechanism for them is the use of town meeting warrants. And uh, we have a request here for 10,975.55 for uh, our portion of their capital list. And the capital list is, uh, as as they submitted, we got electric corridor door holds, $15,000, $15,500, we have $15,000 for repairing the central clock system, $18,000 for repair of exterior and interior intercom, grand total of $48,500 is what the administration is coming to each of the four towns. They're using the the district agreement uh, percentages, and so we're about 27 plus percent, so that's why we're at basically $11,000 this year. I I wanna say that I I applaud the superintendent for sticking to uh, the plan, uh, both of the use of E&D, the uh, band borrowing for big projects, and then using this. It's pretty amazing how quickly that uh, capitalist can get acted on. As part of their agreement, they're also going to bring forward a a list of things completed. I think that's important for town meeting to see. It wasn't too long ago that we would appropriate money to the regional school district and wonder wonder where it was being used. This is an effort in just complete transparency, and I really appreciate. It. There, how's that for a, how's that for a hard sell? <laughs> uh, motion. Second. Motion's made and seconded. All those in favor of inclusion. Aye. Aye. They stop? Yes. They still use clocks in schools? Yeah, I was wondering about that myself, Tom, whether it's required or I'm not, I'm, I'm, I wanted to ask that question. We actually did our uh, <laughs> elementary school two years ago. Two years ago? Two years ago, the central clock system had to be worked on. Okay, I was just, I was just wondering. I, I, just wondering, Scott. I hear you. Um, so Article 22, this is, uh, Tom, this was an initiative came out of a board meeting, and uh, this has to do with the study of and repair maintenance schedule of uh, ditches in the town of Sunderland. Yep. Want to move to include? Motion. Second. Motion's made and seconded. All those in favor of inclusion? Aye. Aye. I, I mean, we're going to have to put together some numbers for that, Scott, but uh, we should be right. able to work that up. You know, we have neighboring communities that are working on that themselves, so we can maybe grab yeah. off those. Yeah, maybe if uh, maybe if Jeff could give uh, um, Town of Hadley a call and see what it costs them. We might even have the old estimate, too, kicking around from when we yeah, did it a number of years ago. Yep, there was one to get it up to... Um, submission to the uh, Conservation Commission, but not execution of work. And that's in keeping with this. This is, you know, study the services and develop what that plan would be, so. Uh, Next up is a proposed zoning amendment. I think we're filling in for something that, this is submitted by the Planning Board. So a little yeah. bit of use, regula- use regulation change, village center, warehousing, SP to N. Um, the planning board always takes great care to go through their uh, anything related to zoning. And by the time it makes it to our warrant, uh, it's usually pretty well thought out. So motion to include? Motion. Second. All those in favor of inclusion, Article 23? Aye. Aye. Three to zero, please. Elliot, did you have a question on the previous one? Raise your hand if you, yeah. Can I interrupt? Please. I wanted to say on the ditch digging, if there are other communities that are uh, gonna be going through something similar, I just wanted to make a note that if if possible, if we could collaborate and, and save money by 
by working together just to be a guidance in that. No, that makes perfect sense. And, and you're yep. right, whether it's, whether it's scope or methodology, uh, that, that kind of sharing is something that is, is paramount to our success. Thanks, Elliot. Yeah, well, uh, Elliot, what we're, what, we're try, what we're trying to do is, is that, that the ditches and the maintenance of the ditches, if there are ditches, it, you know, or whatever there, I mean, we, there are so many stories going around out there about that, and, and, and it does impact a, a many of our, our residents. So it, it's, it's we, we try to do it with a ditch committee, but I think David will, will test it. Was, it's, a, it's a monumental task to, for, for people to just jump into. So we wanted we wanted a what what the guidelines are, were on the ditches and and more importantly we need we need a starting point so that's what we're trying to do. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Elliot. Uh, sewer Article Twenty Four is sewer uh, imaging. imaging. Uh, we had. Uh, asked our sewer uh, plant operators to uh, continue their assessment and then the next phase of what areas need imaging. And um, last time we had imaging and some ex additional work done, it ended up being the relining of a section of a force main uh, to extend its life. Um, and that, and that, the only way to figure that out is to send the cameras down. So that said, uh, this is what the, that, article is centered on this would be coming from uh sewer users fees not the total uh town base and and uh mr chair it's riveting tv when uh, they <laughs> yeah. give us the report <laughs> uh, here we've got a netflix series <laughs> yes a netflix series <laughs> it's, it's also Going it's deep, also it's called. It's, it's, a, a repair like a relining is also a pretty easy sell when you I think we borrowed 375 or 395 last time and you know to simply put in an, an updated line would be millions of dollars so that said uh, this is good work is there any motion to include motion second we have a motion made and seconded. All those in favor of inclusion article 24 raise your hand signify by saying I wave to Dave Aye. Aye. Uh, last, uh, Article 25 through 30 are the consent articles. So, motion to include. Uh, oh, motion to include. Mr. Chair? Uh, yes. Um, sometimes sometimes we, we skim over these, these uh, motions, um, but there, there's, some, there's some kind of important things in there. And, and one of them is one of these consent articles at, allows a town to borrow. That's a good one. Yeah, good point. Yep. Well, and, and why why it's important? Because right now, um, so for people out there, right now, um, we the, the the our our select board have been talking to business owners and about things that they can that the town can do to help business owners, and also, and we've been talking to residents. And and right now, there's a a house bill that's making its way through house bill 4935 and people may may want to write to their elected reps about this but house bill 4935 would actually allow towns to um not um penalize business and or homeowners for paying their property tax bill until 45 days after this COVID-19 thing ends. And there, there's a fit official um, words for that. But basically, it, it's to allow um, people to get back on their feet before bills are needed. Now, why, that, why, why is that important for town? Well, if the town of Sunderland, if, if, if it is adopted, and, and if it's a local adoption or state adoption, whatever, but if, if that goes into place or the town can do that, we would not be collecting money because there are, I think property taxes are due April 1st. So we would need some way to, we would need some way to uh, bridge the gap between um, collection and of, of when it was due and when we actually can, we can do that. Borrowing that money, actually being able to borrow money is, is a, is a, is very important to us to do that. 
So that, that's why it, while it is a consent order, it is a very important thing. And I would ask people that if they think that that's an important thing, that they contact their, their uh, elected representatives and support um, House Bill 4935. That's a good point. Yeah, well put, Tom. There's other consent articles that you know, we, we kind of skip over, well, I'd say skip over. We take for granted, mainly because we don't use them. You know, the author is authorizing the treasurer collector to enter a compensating balance agreement. And, you know, expenditure of chapter 90 money. I mean, just little things like that. We call them the consent orders and kind of dismiss them. But in many ways, they're also, um, they're, they're the day-to-day -day, um, tasks that government needs to be able to continue to provide services for the residents. Well, and, and, and you know, Scott, I, I, I don't, you know, Jeff and I talked about it a little bit today. And, and I think when, when with our free cash is certified and we know what we have for stabilization, I think, our, our, I think we could ride through this time without borrowing. But right. the fact is we do have the option to borrow. And, and if, it, if it allows a business that, that, may, not, that may have to close, um, if it allows that business to, to come up and to... Um, and get back on its feet i think it's or or not just i say business but but even a, a a homeowner i think it's a very important thing that we should we should consider good point okay that discussion uh that discussion complete i'm wondering about a motion to include the consent articles uh motion second motion is made and seconded all those in favor Aye. 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 Zero, please. Okay. Thank you for that. So we've got uh, draft warrant articles behind us. We kind of started off with select board updates. And you want to end the board want to weigh in on anything else at this point um, before we, you know, <clears throat> shut down the video feed. Uh, no, I think it, I think this seemed to work pretty well, and uh, I did get independent verification. We are going out live on the air, so everything is working technically. Nice. And Can I ask, um, yeah, Jeff. Yes. Just just a clarification. I heard um, no uh, motion or vote on Article Two, and then I didn't hear motions or votes on Articles Four or Five. Was that correct? Correct. Thank you. Well, Scott, we, we probably should we should probably vote on Article Two. We're not recommending it, but we are have put it out there, right? Yeah, I mean, this, we we we're only talking about including it, and these are elected officials, and they do yeah. Be so if we're not we're not yeah. saying that we're making recommendations. We don't usually make a recommendation on those on the on the salary articles, but uh, correct. I, I think we could. I think we should vote to include it. Just got a good point there. Okay. okay. So is there a motion? Motion to include Article Two. Motion. Second. The motion is made and seconded for Article Two. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. And then Jeff, that leaves that leaves four, five. And I think that was it. That's all I had. Yep. So we could do four and five. We could do four and five to include, and, and if we don't need them, we don't need them, right, Scott? And then plug the values in. Sure. Uh, yeah. And three, maybe. I think three. Did we? Yeah, we did. We did three because we have to have a budget. Three. Yeah, we did yeah. three. All right. I have motion. Yeah. Motion on four and five, Scott. Include. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor of inclusion? Aye. 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 Three to zero, please. Okay. Again, the framework is what we're talking about now, including, and that is, you know, when it comes time to annual town meeting warrants, uh, the, the warrant is the prerogative and, the, and it sits in the voting wheelhouse of the board with the exception of a uh, citizen's petition the board can can choose to not include a warrant article 
that said, we're, we have a track record of being pretty clear about, you know, including people's uh, and boards and committees uh, intention to present, which is essentially what this is, presenting to the community. The legislative body is town meeting. So that said, we've got a full warrant. And uh, now, now Jeff, we can just start working on, on motions. <laughs> it's just another, another phase. Okay, uh, with respect to uh, continued uh, declaration of emergency, it's important to bear in mind that we are uh, still in a state of emergency here in the town. Town office buildings are still uh, closed to the public. Public services are still being uh, provided either administratively, certainly here in the office. Uh, please check with the library. As I said, I believe curbside pickup is pending and that they'll have those details. Um, our EMS is still there. Uh, Jeff is working with emergency management director to um, keep us informed if there's any sudden changes or, or if there are any strategic changes. And as soon as we know, uh, you will know. I, I believe she's on the line. And I think. Laura, are you, yes, are you there? I'm here. Yep. yep, I'm here. Hi, EMD. Hi. <laughs> So do you want to you want to brief us to any new uh, changes uh, that the citizenry should understand? There's no real changes. I am in daily contact with MEMA through phone calls. They call in and check in daily. Need if we if we need any supplies other than PPE, and I've submitted the request for PPE through the FERCOG. HMCC, as well as through the Web EOC MEMA board. Um, there is new guidance that came out today on the optimization of PPE for Massachusetts, and I forwarded that to the town administrator. Um, we'll forward it to the fire chief, too, and the police chief. Excellent. And that's about it. If there's other things the public needs me to check on or folks I need to be speaking with, please let me know. We'll do just that. Thanks so much for your work. You're welcome. Thank you. So you, you heard the EMD. We're working on uh, PPE and some of the guidelines in and around it. Uh, what she didn't say was wash your damn hands and stay away from everybody. <laughs> there you go. Tom or David, any closing comments? Yeah, I, I just like to I just like to say a couple things. One, Scott, is that that um, the town office the town office building is open and it will will remain open right now through the governor's uh, um, declaration. The governor's declaration does allow for for the municipalities, the state, to stay open and provide the services to to our um, to our town. Um, it, it's very important that we um, that we stay open and that if people need help that that they can always call the town office building and and either you know Jeff the town clerk just whoever wherever you need to help you gotta just call and let us know so that we can that we can help the senior center itself is closed but we are we are um, making meals available Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Um, we're also doing follow-up wellness checks with everybody, and we're also working at on Tuesday and Thursday. Um, Frontier, his the uh, Darius, his uh, the, the uh, superintendent has offered uh, to provide meals for our seniors as well on the days that we don't offer. So. It, it's it's a difficult time right now. We're we're trying to do the best, but at the same time, I want to just thank all of our town employees um, that one that are continuing to come to work that that uh, um, still are working hard and they're they're here and they're committed to the residents of this town. Um, so so if you do need anything, please do 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 not hesitate to give us a call and we'll try to help any way that we can. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Great point. Okay, so our next meeting is a week from today, and we are sure we'll continue to get questions about 
the current declaration of emergency, its ramifications. Uh, we'll have a revisit with annual town meeting, as well as hopefully the legislation will have been passed about uh, extending uh, or eliminating penalties for up to five to 45 days of tax filings. That's something that we have had two, we have had several requests, uh, questions about that. Uh, it is pending legislation and if it does pass in the short term, then uh, we'll have an answer for it. Okay. Motion. Second. Is there a second to adjourn? What? Motion's made and seconded to adjourn. Uh, All those in favor? Wait, wait one second. Oh, sorry, Kelly has got a question. I just want to double check and ask if Sarah or Alex, if you have any questions or anything specific over this. No, we're good. Thanks. I just wanted to double check. I appreciate that. I should I should have reached out. It's it's a little awkward sitting in the empty room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The, the bar only gives you what four faces at once so exactly right well thanks so much for checking back in Elliot. appreciate it and as well as uh, the other finance committee members okay we have a motion on the table and a second to adjourn is there any discussion not hearing any all those in favor nice shot. Aye. Aye.